Good morning, guys. It's been a little bit since I got a video up. It's been super crazy over here. It's just me and my two kids doing this homesteading thing. And I had to pick up some more work. So it's been a little crazy. And the heat has been insane. It's been feeling like 100 degrees some days. So dry and hot. So let's go do some morning chores and check on the garden. I like to come out in the morning and just like check on everything and see where we're at when my kids are still asleep and I actually have time to look at stuff before it, you know, gets super crazy hot out. Let's see? So, we're just checking on everything, seeing where we're at, what can get picked, and trying to make a to-do list of what is going to get done today. Good morning, ladies. You hungry? Hi, little picky piggy. You want some breakfast? You're gonna be breakfast. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna eat you, I promise. <laughs> All right, let's go fill up these. Oh my gosh, look at these beautiful ladies. Oh, I love these girls. Hi, girls. You want some breakfast? Let's get you some breakfast. And sometimes in the middle of doing chores, somebody wakes up. Are you telling her don't eat it? No, please. Tell her don't eat it? Why? It's her food. Good morning, ladies. You want some food? Let's move you over to some fresh grass, too. So how have we been dealing with the heat? One of the ways is I will leave the hose on and just let it trickle through the day so that um, if the pig dumps the water out, she wants to lay in the mud, then she has a way to cool down and then they have a constant flow of fresh water to drink from. Another way we've been dealing with the heat is um, we have cooling vests. So we have vests that have ice packs inside of them and it will keep your core temperature at I think it's 53 degrees 55 degrees something like that but that helps a lot um you know we'll do like the cool rags on the back of the neck all that kind of stuff when we're having to work outside in the heat because it is brutal hydrate lots ice water is your friend and make sure you're taking breaks go back inside cool down for a little bit before you come back out what about you guys what are some ways that you deal with the summer heat if you're in an area that gets really really hot Ellie likes to hide things in my boots. So you always have to check before you put your foot in there. She put all these bulbs of garlic in there. Did you put these in there? Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. How many bulbs of garlic did you put in my boots? You come take them out? 
a good thing you're cute. My squash, squash section is doing awesome. I've been trying to work on getting more of it mulched. You can tell there's a big difference between the ones that were mulched and the ones that were not mulched. So I'm trying to work on getting the mulching done when the baby is asleep. So she's not out here when it's 100 degrees. But we got some cool flowers. Looks like we have some butternut squash coming. I'm super excited about this. Been coming out here looking for squash bugs, hornworm caterpillars, and getting rid of all of those. Oh, look at our sunflowers. They're coming up really nice. Tomatoes are doing good. Excited. So when I am checking my tomato plants, when I see these little poops and I see their stuff eaten off, I know there's a hornworm somewhere. And sometimes it can be kind of difficult to spot, but if you look for where the poop is falling and you go up, you can find them. It's not my focus today, I'm sorry. There it is. Man, that tucker is huge. These guys can decimate your tomato plant before you even know it. Here's some more telltale signs. Oh, you see it? There it is. These cucumbers did not get mulched in time. Womp womp. They look really sad. I don't think they're coming back. These watermelons are looking good though. Let's check on these other cucumbers. Got some flowers on those watermelons. Ooh, can't wait. Look at these cucumbers. These ones, see these ones are mulched. Big difference. They are handling the heat much better. Oh, there's one growing. Let's see if there's any ready to pick off yet. I don't see any ready yet, but soon. Oh my gosh, look at this cone flower. This is exploding. How beautiful. I need to look up how to harvest this because I I have not harvested this yet. I've just been letting it grow every year, but this is the first year it's like really exploded. This is awesome. Very exciting. I got out here and watered everything really good last night. Um, the cherry tomatoes are taken off. Check out so let's see what I can pull off of here I uh, have a couple more bags I can put on um, my onion seeds so oh, these are so cute these are just the cutest cherry tomatoes ever they're so tiny we've been doing a bunch of salads and I made um, zucchini noodles with goat cheese and cut these in half and put them in there too it was really good. Oh man. I might have to use the whole shirt trick thing. There's a bunch of cherry tomatoes on here that look really good. I'm gonna need to start pulling some of these lettuce seeds too and put them in a bag. Maybe I can get to that today. Oh, it looks like we got some blackberries. We're gonna have to come out here later today and get some of these. These look yummy. Somebody wants breakfast. take two days off because I messed up when I reset. No. Some breakfast? No. My kids have been boycotting eggs for breakfast. So we've actually been doing some more like dinner style type breakfasts like, you know, chicken and broccoli and rice or 
grilled zucchinis and hot dogs for breakfast because they just are like not into the eggs and we don't eat cereal. Let's check on our little chicks while we're in here too. Here you go, get some fresh water. So the brown one is the one that we hatched. The silver one is one that I got out of the cat's mouth. So I need to get you guys some fresh straw. You guys have all, hi, got it everywhere. Morning chores are done. Little chickies out here hanging out with us because this is the only chick from that first batch. This chick loves Ow. being around, being around us. Oh, oh, don't do that. That's not nice. This chick will just follow me around. You have to watch it doesn't get under your feet. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it's really cute. I think it thinks I'm its mama. Hey guys, I was just out here checking on some stuff while the kids are playing and decided to go ahead and pull up the garlic bulbs. Ah! I know they're like not super huge, but this variety doesn't get super huge. So I'm gonna leave these out to dry. Um, so I got these garlics from a friend and planted them relatively late. I think it was like February when I planted them and normally you would plant garlic in the fall. So I'm very happy that these have made a bulb. Um, even if it's not a huge ginormous bulb, I'm very happy with this. This is about the size of the garlics when she gave me the individual garlic and then my chickens got in the garden and attacked them and spread them everywhere. I'm pretty sure that there was a couple more garlics in here, but the radishes kind of went nutso and I can't find the other garlic in there if it is still in there. So we've got these two. I'm gonna let them cure. Super excited about this. And then I'm gonna save these for planting in the fall. Thank you guys for hanging out with me while we do morning chores today. It's always fun getting to hang out with you and chat. We'll see you later. Bye.